So <clears throat> today is the beginning of the GIS class and um, by introduction there's no light here as well it's not just me is everyone else there's no light currently even here in Zaria so I don't know that nobody has joined the class yet and uh, I'm doing this as a pre-recorded class to keep for you all so I don't know whether the audio is okay or not that I don't know all right so today is the beginning of the class and uh, my name is Victor Shamaki Rimampenji. I am the director Elite uh, Geospatial Training Institute. So it's an institute whereby we try to see how to bridge the gap between um, the less number of um, the geospatial analysts within where we are in Nigeria. So basically um, this app we have few things once you join me here we're going to have where you can we can chat like each of these like Anna's here we can have a chat so we can chat here and drop conversations while the lecture is going on and all that. So I can see virtually everyone here on this place I'm showing you now. So all the conversations everyone has dropped on this will be here. And uh, also I'm sharing my screen to you and I'm recording it right now. So you will get to access whatever I show on my screen. You will see it in this place. I place my button, I can decide to stop share and I can make it a full screen that's basically what uh, I could show that you need so you can see that I'm leading right now so I give the instruction and then we could also write but well, basically today we are doing uh, data acquisition so basically to start properly in GIS to basically understand what we're doing in GIS we also need to put together a module which we uh, we tackle it as um, data acquisition whereby you have to gather the data you need to process in ArcGIS so because I do not want the situation whereby I'm providing all the data I don't know how to acquire those data I want you to be independent at the end of this training so I'm showing you how you prepare this data yourself I'm showing you how you will now we use the data to make analysis in ArcGIS. All right, so we're starting up today's training with the best of all the software on the data acquisition, which is SAS Planet. So SAS Planet is a GIS software or a data acquisition software that enables you acquire satellite imagery in that is highly resolution and is also georeferenced. That is, you determine the kind of resolution you are actually looking for. You determine whether you are looking for a lower resolution or a higher resolution. And you determine the kind of high resolution you have. And then you also determine that, okay, I need this high resolution in a consistent number of space. That is, I need the whole of Zaria in a high resolution, maybe 0 0.2 meters or 0 0.1 meters. You can get that resolution. So basically, uh, SAS Planet is a, an ArcGIS software. So I say ArcGIS, a data acquisition software that enables you to. Um, welcome. Are you? Can you hear me? Can you unmute your mic and give me a feedback whether you can hear me? Hello. Adamusaliu, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Raise your hand if you can hear me.
If you can hear me, use your chat button and let me know that you are hearing me. Can you hear me? I need your video to be turned on. Turn on your video. All right, so still on what I'm saying. Um, so we're going to start with SAS Planet. So you're the only one joining in the class, but let's continue because we cannot stop. But I want to have a feedback whether you can hear me. If you can hear me, use the chat button. Check the chat button by your side. You will see chat like this. I'm showing you on my screen. This is chat. Use that button. Let me know that you are hearing me. All right. So we're going to start with SAS Planet. So SAS Planet basically allows you to download, to acquire, download a very high resolution satellite imagery that is high in resolution and that is also georeferenced. All right. So we're starting with SAS Planet to so that from there we now go we move from complex to simple all right so from the data source i've asked you to download i believe you've had this software on your system so i'm going to go to my uh, windows to show you what you'll be expecting when you enter so i believe you're seeing my screen so mine is on my download and then I will go to the location where it is. So you must also have 7-zip on your system as well. So here is the SAS planet. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to extract. I don't want to replace what I already have. So you right click and you come up to and then you extract to. So as you extract, it's going to finish extracting. So let me quickly remove this so that we start it afresh. So as you finish extracting, you know where it is. So you go there and then you open the folder. So here is mine. So I'm going to open it up, open the folder. So you scroll down. Yours may be like this when you open it. Then you can use this uh, display items by using large thumbnails. And then you will go to this app. This is what you're going to see. So you double click on it. You must be connected to internet. Already we are already connected by internet. So I don't need to explain that you should be connected to internet. So you double click on it. Hello, sir. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clear. Okay. All right, no problem. So can you unmute your mic so that I can start explaining now? Sir? Just unmute your mic so that you just listen now. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. So, like I was saying before, I said we are going to start the training by mod win module one. I already know that module one is data acquisition. Are we together? Hello? Yes, we are, we are I'm there. Okay, so we're going to start with data acquisition. And the data acquisition we're starting with SAS planning. So don't worry, I'm already recording all of this. So you will also have to you go through it at the end of the class. I didn't want us to just have today go on like that that's why i know there are light issues here and there but then i'm going to record this so that you can go through it at your leisure is that okay yes all right so as before you join fully i was explaining how you will see it on your system so basically can you still see my screen sir can you still see my screen yes uh yes i'm seeing the screen all right so once you download the, those links i sent for you you are going to have sas planet like this 
So this is how it comes. Can you still see where my mouse is? Yes, yes. Okay, so you right click like this. And then you must have Windra. This Windra you see here, open with Windra. So you must also have it downloaded in your system for you to be able to use it. So once you have it downloaded and installed, it's just, it's a free, it's an open source software. You just search it and then you download. So once you download, it's just in kilobyte. So you're going to use this extract to SAS planner release. You click on it. I already have it. So it's going to ask me to replace. I'll say yes. So it's going to replace the other file that you already have on the system. Okay. But you are, since you're doing it for the first time, it's not going to ask you that. Okay. So now you're going to double click on the folder and then you double click again. Now, when you double click, you will see this format. This is how you're going to see it when you open it for the first time. So if you're using Windows 10, you come here and then you use this display items by using large thumbnails. You click on it. And once you do that, you're going to see this SAS Planet file here. All right. Can you, are you with me? Yes, yes, sir. So you double click on this icon you are seeing. This one you see me click on now. Okay. Now it's going to open up. All right. So this is how it's going to open when you have this software open for the first time. It's going to open up like this. You are seeing all of this, right? Yes, sir. Now. This is Africa. This is yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is Europe, I think. And United States is here. Well, that's not our problem. We are only concerned yes. with where we are. So yes. you from Africa? You know that Nigeria is like the trigger of Africa, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So now this is what we are going to be doing. We we'll just I will explain how this software works. Okay. Hello. 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 Yeah, I can hear you now. All right. So, um, first thing first, you need to know when you are downloading satellite image, you need to know which of the satellite you want to use. Okay. Now, as we open it up like this, the first image that we see is satellite Google map. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Now, if you click on this, you're going to see several satellites. You're going to see Bing. Bing has other maps it produces, like the Bing maps, the Bing Map Bed Eye Hybrid, and then we also have the Bing Maps Satellite. If you come down, you're going to see S3, S3 ArcGIS Imagery, ArcGIS Landsat, and others. If you come down to Google, you're going to see the Google Satellite and other parts of the maps. So you're, you've been able to select the one you want to use at the point in time. Let's say, which of the satellite images you want to use at the time? This is where you will come to. As you open this software, you're going to see this. So it's called selected base map. So that's where you select your base map. Are we together? Yes, sir. All right. So for this, we are going to just use Google Earth. So we're going to use Google Satellite. So now we are using, this is Google Earth and Satellite selected. Now, are you seeing the names on this place? This name that display? Uh, yes. That okay. You, now you need to send them. But are you seeing names? I just want to know that you are seeing names. Oh yes, I'm seeing the names. Only that are okay. not all that clear that tiny. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you go to your own system, you see them by yourself when you are practicing this. But then I just want to now you see this place I am on now. Can you see where I am?
हेलो Okay, so okay, are you back? Okay, now. Yes, yes, I'm back now. Yes. So, did you see this place where I am now, currently? Are you seeing where I am now? This. Yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, this thing that you're seeing as an overlay. You see that it's more like a strata. So that is where it's called an overlay. So this overlay, what it does, it also shows you other sources of satellite. But if I uncheck this traffic Google map, all of the names will disappear. Do you see that all the names disappear? Yeah, they are. Can you see it? Now, yes. if I come back to the overlay, and click this google then go back to traffic all of the names will come back oh, okay, so this is okay. another settings you need to use now you apply these instances when you are looking for satellite imagery with names of community so you check out this name so that all of them can appear then secondly you go back to that same place click on google and then you check on hybrid so you see that other names appear there are other names that are you see that more names appear and then some other features appeared on this road layer. Did you see that the road layers change? Yes, yes. Okay, so these are the major settings you are going on. So first, we'll be able to select a satellite. Second, we're able to bring traffic. That is the data. Now, the next thing we are going to do here is that you see this place I am on now. Yeah. It's called Catch Tiles Map. Are you getting me? Yes, yes. Now, this Catch Tile Map, what it does is that it has a Z1 to Z24. Now, that Z, that Z there represents zoom. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. The Z there represents zoom. So, it's showing that each of the zoom determines uh, each of each of the zoom determines your resolution. So okay. let's say I am in Z twenty one, right? Yes. Sir. Now, if I zoom to twenty one, now you see there's another zoom here. Are you seeing my hand? Yes, I can see. I can see. Now I'm using my mouse to scroll to twenty one now. Now, okay. when I am at 21, the images begin to clear up. Do you know why? Uh, no, sir. If I come back down to 20 or 19, <laughs> you see that there are box, 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 box. But yes, yeah, I can see. it's not grid. It's not like grid. It's like grid, yes. But the image are not clearing, right? No. Yes, now, sir. this image that are not clearing is because of this limitation I set here. This catch tile, okay. I set it to 21. So, it brought out okay. that grid line. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, yes, it brought out that grid line to guide me so that I can walk properly without... Okay. Now, you see that... Yeah, so that I'll know where I have walked and where I have not walked. Do you get the okay. point now? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so... Now, if I go back to 21, you see that the place begins to clear up as I go. Now, I can see structures like, now. You can see structures, right? Yes. Good. But let me use a place with good uh, structures. Let me use Abuja. Where is your location? Where are you at? Where are you streaming from? I'm, 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 I'm residing in Abaji now. Abaji, that's Abaji, Abuja. Right? In Abuja, here. Yeah. Okay, yes, so yes. Good. Let me locate Abaji so that we could stream it. I just want us to, okay. since you are the only one in class now, let's. Okay, I'm in Abuja now. Can you see that I'm in Abuja? 
Mm. Yeah, the the writings are not clear. Okay, and they're not clear to you. Tiny. No, they're not clear to me. Okay, I'll let me locate. Abadi. Unless maybe you zoom it small. The more I zoom, the more it they go back inside. Oh, when, it, oh yeah. Okay. I think it's either the resolution you set the streaming maybe. But then let me yeah. I can't see I can't see Abaji, but then let me stream uh, Lugwe. Well I'm currently in Lugwe okay. now. So uh okay. at twenty two you can see the images are coming up, right? So yes, yes, yes. You yes, can yes, see structures yeah. coming up. Are you seeing them? Yeah. Brian, can you use your audio? It's like your place is noisy. Ibrahim just joined. Yes. Ibrahim, can you are you with us? All right. So now you can see that the structures are very clear. But then we are that clear. There's, there's something that is not still gone now. You see that these uh, write-ups are still big, big. Yes. So you see now they are gone. The write-ups are already. Yeah, yeah, they are gone now. Yeah. Yeah. So now, but they are not entirely gone. It's still showing big format. So you need to stream the write-up to go out completely until it goes out completely you know this is progress dynamic so the right of need to be very small so it still requires okay. internet for that to happen you understand okay so the speed of your internet will determine how it goes but you know it's not all the time you need this it's not all the time you need this right up on your satellite image you know about yes so let's assume we don't need it we just come to traffic and off it right uh, if we don't need it, we, no. If we don't need it, we just come to traffic and okay. office, right? Okay, okay. You understand? If we don't need and uh, look names of the right up. Yes, we don't need the right up. We just go to overlay here. And, uh, Ibrahim, your audio. If we just go to overlay here and then we off them. But if we need them, we bring them back. Do you understand? Okay. Yes, sir. And then now, here is where the work comes on in Stars Planet. Stars Planet, okay. you must stream it complete for you to be able to download. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Now, I have to stream it comp like, do you know what I mean by streaming? The stream, you are bringing a dice, you are you have to move that from is. one place to the other for the image to be cleared. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Now, look at it this way. You see that as I zoom down, there's a place, this portion is showing that it's cleared up, right? This portion yes. is showing that it's cleared up. Yes. But then, this place still have boxes, 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 boxes. Abi? They have small, small boxes, yeah. Yes, it's showing that it's not Something cleared like, up. Um, okay only this portion that i've cleared is showing that it is very clear so you see that i'm going by sideway sideway going everywhere to make sure that uh, uh clear. yes it clears up so until all of this is clears up before you can download mm -hmm. do you understand what i've done so far uh although i'm following you but i want you to after the uh, the, the the class i will like the record the i mean the down you send me the record there yeah. sure so definitely. that i follow it once more. sure definitely it's because i don't want to waste today i know the ginger is not you guys are not giving me the ginger i have a lot to offer uh, that is it all that are not even Oh, man, I don't know the problem. So you see, you see, this has been the major problem I'm having over the years. And it's <laughs> not really nice. It's not really this. 
the ginger to teach is there, but you guys are not giving me that ginger. But then let's the are not completing it. That is it. Yes. All right. So what but, I want is so what I want to do after the class, you send me the record. The um, I mean the the record the coded yes. class. And it's, it's going to be. Go I'm, back it's going to be on YouTube immediately after the class, so you guys can okay. go through it. All right. So now. Just understand the basic point. I'm going to go over it again. Now, when you okay. enter the software, what you need to do is you need to check which of the satellites you want to use. All right? Which yes. we have this. We are using Google Earth. So you click on the satellite and come down to Google and select Google Satellite. All right? Then secondly, you want name to appear. You come to overlay by the site here. And you click this Google, and then you come and check traffic. So these names will appear. Now, you begin to stream. I also said that you come to this catch tiles map, and then you select the zoom you want, which we selected zoom 21. And once you stream up to, you move this zoom up and down to 21. Once it's at 21, it will start streaming. So you move, as it clears up, you move your mouse. So you need a mouse. That is, I'm not talking of the system mouse, the external mouse. So okay. as you move, yes, as you move sideways, all the direction you move, it clears up, it clears up, it clears up. So do you understand this one now? Yes, and to this point, I understand, sir. Good. Moving ahead, we are going to look at the resolution. Now, Look, I see where my mouse follow. Did you see where my mouse is right now? Yes, down. Now, I can see. First here we have what is Z21. That is Zoom 21, right? Then follow yes, it, we have coordinate written here. This is your north and this is your east. Coordinate of each okay. of the point as we move around. The coordinate changes. Then after the coordinate, we have 0 0.15 meter per pixels do you know what this means no sir uh, no, i don't understand it. now you see these you pixels we have here this, good this pixels box we have here you are seeing this pixels but where my mouse is right yes yes at the center yes i'm just showing this pixel box now each of this is a okay. pixel this is a pixel now by the time we zoom to 21 that's where we are now, about 20, Zoom 21, right? 21, yes. And what it implies is that at Zoom 21, is 0 0.15 meter per pixel. Now, each of those box is 0 0.15. That is... is uh, okay. Is the size five, or something like that. Yeah, yes, it's one centimeter. Okay. And do you know what one centimeter image implies? No, sir. I don't know. It implies that one... <laughs> Good. It implies that one pixels, one of those pixels is one centimeter. Yes, now, meaning okay. a lot of details are being seen there. Do you understand? A lot of yes, details. Yes, I, I understand. I know pixel. Pixel is all like a grid, the one grid. The grid. Of... Good. Now, yes, sir. Yes, sir. that zoom, the zoom, the zoom we use, that zoom 21 determines yes, your resolution. So, if I am at zoom Look at now, I'm coming down to zoom 16. Now look at what the pixels box represents in your resolution. 4.72 meters. Do you understand? Okay. So now yes, you know sir. that the image you acquire at this 4.7 meter and this one is not the same. Do you get? Yes, sir. Um, you get the concept now, right? Yes, so, yes, sir. So in this sas planner you determine the kind of size of image the resolution of image you will get and then depend on what you want to do also now at zoom 16 for some if you are studying river 10 meter is enough for you if you are studying meet at least four meter and most is enough for you but then what if you are doing your, your studies on on building built ups you need a very high resolution Okay. Yes. So if you use 21 here, it's a very uh, high resolution that we need. 
Okay. okay. So, right. Okay. Good. Yes, sir. So now we have an understanding of understand how this works. So you know that if you are zoom yes, 20, sir. you know the kind of image you get. If you are zoom 10, you know the kind of image you get. And then in SAS Planet, you can download. Mm -hmm. In SAS Planet, you can download the whole Nigeria. That is, if you can zoom, you can stream the whole Nigeria. You can download it once. Do you understand? Okay. So understand the yes, perspective sir. that I say streaming. You have to use your external mouse to zoom. You see the way I'm moving now? You see the direction I'm moving? Mm -hmm. And anywhere I move to, you see that the the image, the picture clears up, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. So that is that for all of that explain. So let's assume we have what we want. I want to download this area now. We want to download this area with streams. That's what we want to do, right? Yes, sir. Now, you see this place I am now? You click on it. You see there's a drop-down button, right? Yes, sir. You click on the drop-down button. It's going to show you other tools. So okay. once you click, you have rectangle, you have polygonal selection, you have polling line, you have by coordinate, you have visible area. Now, this is what it means by visible area. You see where I, I am being shown now? These are visible area, right? So yes, sir. if if I click here and set by visible area, it's going to make selection okay. by what is seen. Do you understand? Yes, sir, I can't Okay. Now, if you make selection by polygon, polygona, that means you see that it has, you see that there is a selection, right? Yes, sir. Did you see that there is a selection? So there is a, a rectangular line something. on it. Now that yeah, is yes, sir. by Yes, that's by a uh, visible area. But then look at what Polygon will do. Polygon will allow you to go trace it one by one. Okay. So you see, I'm tracing where I have we've cleared off. Are you seeing? Okay. Yes. So once I trace to where I want, I will now say apply. So it's going to make selection. You see that it also makes selection, right? Yes, sir. Now we also have rectangle. So rectangle now is only going to make a rectangular selection. You see, once you click once, then it makes a selection. Okay. Good. So let's go and use the polygon now for the download. So I'm going to follow trace through where we have cleared off. So this is where we've cleared off, right? So I'm going to yes, make a selection out of it. Now I'm going to apply. So it's going to bring up this dialog box for me. Now, once you bring this up, what you need to do here, you see we have download, we have stitches, we have generate, we have delete, we have export, and we have copy. But the first thing you're going to do is download, right? Now, okay. we, down, we, we stream at what zoom level, sir? Okay. What, huh? zoom level did, what zoom level did we stream? Okay, if, um, one Oh, is it not um, 1.2? The, the, no, it's one. Zero, 0 0.15. Am I right, sir? Yeah, you're oh, right. Okay, okay, no, okay. That is the resolution. But the, the okay. zoom level, what zoom level did we use in streaming this? This thing we stream, this place we stream. What zoom level did we use? I think we use ah. zoom 21, if I did not mistake it. Uh, it's 21 now. Yes. We use Zoom 21, good. So, now that you see, I may sell, I cancel the selection, right? But the cycle is still there, right? Are you with me? Yes, I, I can see the circle. It's still there. You can click this place and say, last selection. It's going to bring it up, back up to you, okay? So let's say, as I cancel like this, when I come back here, I'm going to make use of last selection. If I also want to edit it to, maybe I want to make one change or the other, I'll say edit last selection. So it's going to make a selection like this. And then I'm going to move it to where I want to make adjustment. Do you get? Okay. Now, so if I'm done, I'll now say apply again. So now, our zoom level is level 21, right? 
So we're going to check 21. And then we are going to click download. Mm -hmm. So you see that it has downloaded, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to click on quit. Then you come back to this same place and you select, you click on that drop down button, the drop down. Now you now say edit last ed uh, selection. So this time around, you're going to come to stitch. Are we together? Mm. Now on the stitch, you're going to click on output format. You see output format. You click on it. Now you can select either a GOT file or ECW, that's Enhanced Compression Wavelength. These two are, I think, the best. So either you select a GOT, uh, that's Stack Image File Format, or Enhanced Compression Wavelength. So let's go with Enhanced Compression Wavelength. Now the next is where the location where we're going to save our map to. So you click on these three dots that are here. You click on it. And then you select which location you want it saved. So I have a work folder that I titled. So for this, I'm going to name it. And I'm going to say GIS Training Data. All right. Okay. So I'm going to save. So I'm going to open it inside and I'm going to put a name. What name should I put is uh, which area of Abuja, Lube? Lube, okay. So I'm going to save. So the name will appear here. And then you are going to now make selection. That zoom level we use, you're going to select it again, 21. All right? Yes. Now. You remember we check we are, we said the we overlaid the traffic data. You remember right? So we allow the traffic data to be there, and then our satellite that we use for the image is a Google satellite, right? Mm. Now we have a projection down here. It's asking on which of the projection. So here we have projection of map Mekato. We also have uh, spare, we have uh, WGS 1984, and then we have geographic latitude along with WGS. So let's use this Mercato that is UTM. The Mercato is UTM, and the geographic is the GCS coordinate system. So anyone you select, let's say you're working on, let's say you're working between zone 31 and zone 32 of the projection you just decide to use uh, wgs are you with me hello yes sir. yes sir. yes i'm with you yes. I'm just... i said let's say you're working on two zones maybe let's say between that one you know part part of niger state niger is between zone 31 and 32 so let's mm -hmm. say you're working the whole of niger you don't save it on the utm you save it on the geographic so let's let's use geographic. Uh, sorry, Mekato. Since Abuja is just between zone 32, let's use Mekato. Mekato WGS 1984. All right. So the next now you check this W here. Then you increase this quality to 100. Is that all right? So now here they say split image. You can decide to split this map this image we're downloading this satellite imagery you can decide to split yes. it in two places but then we want everything both the vertical and the horizontal to be one so you leave everything in one one all right mm -hmm. so now once you've done this setup you click save so what is going to do now is that it's going to stitch the whole of this thing into one it's going to compress all of it into one you know mm -hmm. You remember these pixels, these uh, pixels here is what it yes. downloaded. It downloaded it as pixels per pixels mm -hmm. per pixels. So it's now going to put all the pixels together to give us one map. Do you understand now?
Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, yes, sir. Because um, the pixels will be put together because if we have the pixels separated, maybe the image, some part of the image will be caught. Yes. I think, based on what I understand, that is what the essence of putting the pixels together means. We're not the one putting it together. The software already <laughs> is doing that. We is just for us to stream off. Now, look at the pixels by this side. You see that it's not stream, right? So once I'm at 21, it begins to stream. So that's what you're going to... For you to be able to download, you have to stream it. Let's say you choose 21, just like I choose now. You have to go around the image, that the site you are working on. You have to go around all the places. As I'm going to be giving assignment, I'll give you locations to download. So you stream all that location like that until all of them is cleared up. So once it's cleared up, you make selection of those places just like I did. So you go through this video as I will drop the link for you guys after I've uploaded it on YouTube. So I'll drop the link for you guys to go through. When we are doing next class, I pray the slide so that I will be giving interval for you to practice. It will be more interactive yes. in next class, all right? So that you practice and we continue. You practice and we continue. But because there's no light and your system are not on, that's the reason why I'm only being the one talking, okay? So I'm going to leave this video with you guys. I'm also going to drop you a video that I've already done this already. But then I'll also leave this one so that it gives you more understanding because you are in class. So basically, we've downloaded this imagery now i'm going to go and open it up so that we all see so i'll go to the folder where the image is so it's in my drive and then on work so i created a folder gis training so here is the image is 18 megabyte so i'm going to open the image up in arcgis so I'm going to come to, well, that's, but then just watch me upload, put the image so that we'll see. All right. Okay, I'm coming. It's saying it will not open up. I don't. So I think lately this ECW has been having issue opening up in ArcGIS. So, but then we'll, when we are saving next, we'll save it as Jotif. All right. So these are problems you notice sometimes when you are doing this work. So when we are saving next time, we'll save it as a Jotif file. Or let's basically just save it. So stitch, and then we we'll change this to. Geotiff, or let's leave it as JPEG for the time being. Let's leave it as JPEG, all right? So let me see. Look, we two. Let's leave it as JPEG, okay? I think every other settings remain like that. Then this is 21, and then let's stitch it. So we'll leave it as JPEG and open it up so that we see, okay? So uh, Lugwe 2 is open, so let's go and see it on ArcGIS. So, are you guys all seeing how clear the image is? Yes, I can Yeah, it's clear now. Okay. You see how clear the image is, right? The more I zoom, you are still seeing it more clearer, right? So, you see now, yes. you can actually see every shape of this building to digitize you can also see the fence you are seeing fence line now so basically you can yeah, see yeah, can see. Of, yes you can see quite a number of details on this image are we together so basically this is how to acquire satellite imagery using sas planet any question
Any question? Uh, no, for now, I don't think I have until I follow. I'll, if I follow the uh, what you sent to us, the record. Yes, sir. Okay. Maybe that's where I will. For me, that's when I will ask question. Yeah. For me too. For me too, sir. I'm when I get the video, I try and practice it myself. Yes. I think that is when I will be able to see how. I follow the class and understood. If I have a, any difficulty, I will jot it down and ask uh, maybe in the next class. Mm, All right. So please let's try and charge our system. I hope our system are not desktops. No, mine is uh, no. It's not. It's not desktop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not desktop, sir. At least even we can have like just an hour. At least it's going to do more justice. We, we can, I don't have lights currently. Well, I have two systems. If this one run down, I'll pick the second one. So, but then let's try and see how to minimize the time because the truth is I'll soon start exams and then I need us to achieve as much as possible before then. All right. So okay, sir. Yeah, so I uh, will end the class today and then I will share a link with you. I'm going to share a link with my old video. It's not as detailed and explained as I did today. So it's just going to give you a peripheral. But then this video is detailed and is self-explained. So I'm going to also find time and upload this video on YouTube so that I can share the link for you. Because it's definitely going to be heavy if I'm going to share the link for you or share, transfer the video to the group. It's not going to work. So I have to upload it on YouTube so that we can all follow. All right. So thanks for coming out today and from me it's a bye-bye we'll see you tomorrow same time and same way okay thank you very much sir uh it was really a great class we've learned a lot thank you very much may god see you all through amen, amen. all right so good night. thank you sir yeah.